Namaste. Welcome to breathe. Relax. Observe. My name is Carolyn, and today we have a short, gentle yoga with no pressure on the knees. So we'll get started in a comfortable seat, chanting the sound OM three times. And close the eyes to go within. Taking a nice deep inhale. Taking a moment to notice how we feel in our body. Feeling the reverberations of the sound. Anywhere in our body. Seeing how it affects our mind. And coming into the breath. Watching it move in and out through the nose. Our breath is the presence of our life. Always moving us. Always with us. moment of gratitude for each and every breath. Loving the breath and loving ourselves. And if we like, we can keep the eyes closed as we slowly come down onto our backs. get down on the ground and bringing knees in towards the chest rocking a little side to side you can bring hands on top of the knees maybe interlace the fingers or maybe wrap the arms around the knees the shins nice little rock massage for the low back and we come back to center on the exhale, left sole comes flat. Option to extend the left leg out long. Right knee hugs in towards the chest. Feeling length from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Pressing the right thigh into the body as best as we can. On the exhale, feeling shoulders and head up off the ground, forehead towards the knee. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Softening the muscles in the jaw, the muscles in the face. Always an option to smile. <laughs> no matter what's going on. Exhale, lower shoulders and head. Right legs up towards the sky. Knee can be bent here or not. Option to flex or extend the foot or maybe moving back and forth through flex and flexion and extension. 
Maybe connecting it to the breath, exhaling, flexing the foot, inhale, point, or vice versa. When does yoga practice be like a time to play, bringing awareness to how our bodies feel today, and how does it feel to move around in these bodies? Checking things out. On our next exhale, we peel shoulders and head up off the ground, forehead towards the knee, hands walk closer towards the foot. Nice steady breath. However our shape looks today, breathing into it. Exhale, massage down the leg, massaging with love, and lowering the right leg. Soles the feet flat or legs extended, whatever's more comfortable for you. Arms come down along the side. We take a moment here to notice right side versus left side of the body. Sometimes it's very subtle, this difference. So we can bring awareness to our tongue, noticing right side versus left side of the tongue to tap into this subtle difference. Just noticing. And then when we're ready on the exhale, knees hug in towards the chest. If it's more comfortable, we can rock side to side like we did before. Otherwise, hands come on top of the knees and we draw circles away from each other with the knees. Moving as fast or as slow as comfortable. And the knees come back together. We change direction. Watching our breath as we move. And the knees come back together. Right sole comes flat. Maybe the right leg extends out long. Left knee hugs in towards the chest. On the exhale, peeling shoulders and head up off the ground, forehead towards the knee. Soft shoulders, soft jaw, soft face. <laughs> Princess is cracking me up right now. Exhale, lower the shoulders and head. Left leg up towards the sky. Maybe flexing and extending the foot. I'm sure those of us with pets at home know how much joy they can bring to a yoga practice. Dogs like yoga too. On our next exhale, we peel our shoulders and head up off the ground, forehead towards the knee or the princess. <laughs> Remembering in each breath, gratitude and love. Breath is always enough reason to remind us to smile. And we'll massage down our beautiful left leg, squeezing lots of love, loving this leg, loving this body we're in. As we lower shoulders and head, this time right away, both knees hug in towards the chest. Arms come out shoulder length, like a lowercase t. On the exhale, we drop the knees towards the left. 
They do not have to come all the way to the ground. If the right knee comes up, that's fine too. Keeping them stacked if we can. And if it's comfortable, we can drop the right ear towards the ground. Gentle spinal twist. Inhaling, bringing the head to center, legs to center. Use the strength of the core to bring it back up. Exhaling, dropping to the other side. Maybe looking to the left this time. Head to center, legs to center. So optional like we did before, uh, we can take the knees out wide, bringing the hands to the knees, and we can stay or bring the soles of the feet up towards the sky, grab the outsides of the ankles or the outsides of the feet for happy baby pose. The head and neck stay on the ground. Pressing down through the back of the body. And if, this is, if this is uncomfortable in any way, just keep the knees wide here. Maybe even draw in circles so that feel better. We also have the option we can rock a little side to side. Cracking me up. <laughs> Yoga brings the laughter. And when we're ready, knees come back into the chest. We pick a side, roll onto our side. And slowly press up to a comfortable seat. Tall spine when we get here. It's a slight engagement in the core to keep the spine long. Shoulders roll up towards the ears here, really high, squeezing, and then exhale, rolling them away. Inhale, squeezing up towards the ears, and exhale, rolling it away. Inhale, coming up, back and down. Last time, forward up, back and down. Ah. Feeling length through the crown of the head. Creating a little cup with our hands and bringing it to our heart. Palm, hearts, <laughs> heart, <laughs> palms facing up. We close our eyes, filling our hands with love from our hearts and back to that gratitude. Bringing hands up to the face, feeling the breath on the palms. We are alive. What will we make with our time on this earth? And then offering our hands up towards the heavens, up towards the sky, the great infinite sky. And here we part the hand, fingertips up, fingers wide, fingertips reaching up. And exhale, bowing the body forward. Deep, deep inhale, we sweep the arms all the way up, maybe looking up, grabbing that good energy and exhaling, bringing it down into our hearts. That infinite cycle, right? Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the ground, side body stretch to the left side, looking forward, down or up. Deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. On the inhale, we slowly come back up, both arms up, maybe looking up. Exhale, left hands down to the ground. We can come to left form if we can keep the right sit bone on the ground. Deep breathing in deeply. 
Exhaling it out. Inhaling, we rise up. Exhale, folding forward. Deep inhale, sweeps us all the way up. Arms up high. Exhaling, hands to heart. From here, we extend the legs out long. Knees can be bent or not. We inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold the body. Hands come on top of the legs outside. Maybe we find the feet. A few breaths here. Awareness on our thoughts. Can we stay with the steady in and out flow of the breath? And what is the quality of the thoughts that do come? Can we offer back the negative thoughts? Go back to where you came from. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> and can we honor the positive thoughts? Thanking them too, but saying this is a time we're coming into our breath. Come back later. <laughs> And massage up the legs. Squeezing love into our legs. On the exhale, hugging right knee in towards the chest. Right sole can stay flat here. Or we can take the right foot to the outside of the left thigh if our spine stays long, if we're comfortable. Left hand comes around the right knee. Inhale, we reach the right arm up. And exhale, taking right hand behind the back. Tall spine. Inhale to lengthen. Exhaling into the twist. Keeping our left foot flexed here. It will help us keep our bodies forward so we're not leaning back. And we feel that energy extending down the left leg when we keep the foot flexed. Every inhale, we lengthen. Every exhale, maybe feeling the twist just a little bit deeper. Turn and unwind. A little counter stretch to the left. We can stay upright, staying here. Very nice. Or maybe we lower the body down. Inhaling, we come back up. Straighten out the legs. And exhale, left knee hugs in towards the chest. We can leave the foot there, take it to the outside of the right thigh. Right hand around the left knee, left hand comes. Inhale, reach the left hand up, feeling that length. And exhaling, bring it behind the back. Keeping the right foot flexed. Twisting to the other side. I also love the symbology, symbolism. <laughs> symbology word <laughs> it is now. <laughs> The image, imagery, we'll say, of imagining our spine as a towel here, and we're twisting, wringing out the towel, getting all that bad, dirty water, gunk, washing away with the breath. Washing up the back of the spine on the inhale. Exhaling down the front. stretch to the right. Maybe we lower the head towards the ground. And we come back up. Extending the legs out long. This time taking the legs out wide. Wide is comfortable. Knees can bend. Inhale, we lift the heart and head. And exhale, walking the hands forward. Deep stretch. 
in the hips and the inner groin, down through the legs, low back of the body. Surrendering into it. Inhale, we walk the hands back up. Coming back to comfortable cross legs. And maybe trying to put the other foot in front or on top, switching it up. Options can change and notice what feels different. If there's a lot of discomfort or pain though, you can put it on back. <laughs> From here on the inhale, I reach the right arm up and overhead, finding the left ear, dropping right ear towards the right shoulder. And gravity take over the left shoulder. Sending the breath where we feel tightness. Inhale, we're creating space. And exhale, we're letting go. Noticing our expression. How soft can we make the muscles in our face? And an option to stay just like this, or on the exhale, we can turn the nose towards the right armpit. Checking out how we smell today. <laughs> Next exhale, we lower the right hand, roll the head back to center, looking forward. As we inhale, reach the left arm up and over, finding the right ear, dropping left ear towards the left shoulder. Hmm. Once again, on the right shoulder, relax. Come into that steady breath. Option on the next exhale, turn the nose towards the left armpit. And you can stay up on the head. Sometimes we go deeper in these stretches, we find little stiff parts of the body that are really speaking to us, either emotionally or through thought. So if we just breathe through that and appreciate this time we're taking to open up. And exhale, slowly release the hand, bring the head back to center. A few more shoulder rolls here, forward, up, back, and down, like we did earlier, or option here to just reverse back, up, forward, down. Maybe a little one-on-one -on -one action. <laughs> rounds, whatever we need, loosening it up. Find what feels good today. And we come back, tall spine. And now we're reaching the arms forward, spreading the fingers here. Just a moment, pause. Ooh, I feel like a wizard. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Moment to be wizard. And then on the next exhale, we cross right elbow on top of the left. So option one, just bring the hands to the shoulders. Option two, back of the hands touch. Option three, we wrap up the arms like two snakes in a dance. Inhale, we feel lift through the chest. Exhale, keeping that lift through the heart, but lowering the elbows. Tall spine, we're not pushing the heart forward here. Our spine is in a line. <laughs> On the exhale, we'll unwind the arms and wrap, and then making goal posts with our arms, cactus 
what was they call this? Shoulder blades squeeze together. Try to get elbows in line with the shoulders as much as we can. Fingers are spread wide. Feeling the fingertips pulling back. From the opening in the chest. Again, we're not leaning the body forward here. Tall spine. Feeling that opening in the heart. Another deep breath in. And another deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, softening through the arms, nice and loose as we wrap them up. Left arm comes on top this time, or we grab the shoulders. Whichever variation we need, it can be different on the right side versus left. Totally normal for one side to feel different than the other. We inhale, lift the arms, lift the heart. Exhale, lowering the elbows, keeping the lift in the chest. What do we notice on this side? Where can we send the breath? Exhale, slowly unwind. Softening the hands, bring them down to the knees. Inhale, this time we can push the heart forward. And then exhale, chin towards the chest, navel squeezing in, leaning the body back. Inhale, pulling forward. Exhale, pulling it back. A little seated cat and cow. So we have that movement in the spine, rolling the spine forward. Navel pushes forward, heart forward, maybe looking up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Lean it back. And we can stay like that, or we can add a little side to side motion here. A little rolling, really free flowing. It just depends. Sometimes we like the more mm, structured movement. Sometimes we feel like maybe we were sitting all day yesterday and we just need to dance around, rolling it out. Let an everyday be our dance. Even if we are sitting on the ground. Bringing that movement, that motion in a seat is just as good as jumping around on our feet. Oh, that rhymes. I'm doing a lot of rhyming in this class today. <laughs> that's great. No hate, that's great. <laughs> okay, so when we're done with that, we'll come to our final pose before Shavasana. And there's a few ways to take this one. Option one is you bring the soles of the feet flat. And then take the feet out as wide as the yoga mat here. Hands come under the shoulders, fingers facing towards the toes. We keep that lift up through the chest. As we exhale, drop the knees towards the left. They do not have to come all the way down to the ground. However far they come comfortably is great. Inhale, and we come back up. And we go to the other side. Now if this feels a little too much, we can come down onto the forearms, and play it on our forearms, or we can say, I am ready, and come all the way down onto our backs, and then letting the knees drop side to side on our backs. So find what feels right for you. If we are in the forearms, we're not slouching down, uh, crunching through the chest, no more crunchies, but we're keeping that lift up through the heart. There's a few more rounds, and we can Move as fast or slow as you'd like here. If we're sticking with the breath, on the exhale, we drop, and then inhale, come up. Maybe we're just keeping a steady breath, rocking side to side. Again, it's finding what we need today. And if we're up, we're on our elbows, we can press up. If we're on the ground, go ahead, you can stay on the ground, unless you want to come up. <laughs> we'll reach the arms forward, walking the feet in hips distance apart. Um, okay, actually, option one would be we can also use our hands to lower down. We're just coming down to our backs here. But if we want a little core strength, a little, little power in this gentle class, we can reach the arms forward and exhale, slowly come down onto our backs. Get in there however we need. When we do, knees hug in towards the chest. We rock a little side to side. back to 
center. So you can take Shavasana with soles of feet flat, it's more comfortable. Or bring the feet as wide as our yoga mat once again, knees fall in towards one another. Or traditionally just extend the legs out long. Arms come down along the sides, palms up towards the sky. Corpse pose. <sighs> yes, dropping off the weight of the world, the weight of these bodies. Trying to drop off the weight of our thoughts, which is the, why this is the most challenging pose. But we do that by simply returning to the breath. We can also concentrate on one thought, even one sentence. Gratitude or what we're grateful for. We're trying to help focus the mind so we can go beyond the mind and come into our true being, one that is peace, bliss, always present, always within us. So we feel the back of the body soften into the ground. Then the legs become entirely heavy. The arms sinking down into the floor. Relaxing the back of the body. Back of the head. Feeling the heavy sensation, deeper and deeper, sinking down. And seeing if we can notice the front of the body floating just above the body, a sense of lightness. Bring awareness to the space between the eyebrows. Softening, softening, softening. And we rest awareness at the crown of our heads. Shavasana.
and slowly we can deepen our breathing. Feeling toes, fingers, feet and hands. Rocking the head a little side to side. When you're ready, knees hug in towards the chest. Rocking a little side to side. Keeping the eyes closed, we roll onto our right side, pausing here a moment. Slowly pressing up to a comfortable seat. come to heart center, feeling this breath move through the body, love in this breath, love in this body, love in our time here, and I thank you from my heart for spending your time with me today, I wish you a wonderful, beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, or night today and forevermore. Namaste.